Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I am going to show you how to solve probability problems using Pascal's triangle. And here is a problem. Uh, a family has four children. What is the probability of having zero boys, one boy or two boys? Uh, of course I know that most of you would be able to solve such uh, easy problem and um, I want to show you how to solve such problems. Uh, using this uh, simple example, so you would know how to solve much more complex problems, which you probably wouldn't be able to solve or would be time-consuming to solve using just um, logic method. So it would be much easier to use Pascal triangle. So uh, let's uh, build Pascal triangle first. And we start with one on top. In the next row we would have also one and one here on the sides. In the next row we also would have one and one on the sides, but also we would have two here in the middle. How we got this two? We just have to add this one and this one. In the next row we would have one and one on the sides, but we also would have three and three here. How we got this three? We add this one and this two. And next row also start with one and ends with one. But here we would have four, six, and four. And this is how we got these numbers. So uh, basically we can continue using the same principle. Now let's name uh, all the rows. The first row, actually not the row number 1, but we call this uh, row uh, 0. Next row would be number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. And these numbers reflect, uh, for example, in our problem, number of children. And as we told, family have four children. So this row number 4 uh, would be rows that we are going to work with and this four reflect a uh, number of children. Now let's put also uh, numbers here that would reflect uh, sum of numbers of each row. So for example uh, in the first row or zero row we would have one, next we would have two, next we would uh, have 4, next 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 would be 8. So you see pattern that uh, in each row we would have a number which is going to be twice bigger than in previous row. So we can say that in the next row we are going to get 16. Let's put this number here. But uh, let's add all the numbers in the row to see if we are going to get 16. 1 plus 4 would be 5, plus 6 would be 11, plus 4 would be 15, plus 1 would be 16. So uh, basically what uh, this number stands for, its number stands for all possible uh, variants and possible combinations, how we can get children of two sexes, boy and girls, in a family with four children. For example, um, the first child, let's put an um, empty box for each child here. So the first child can be whether a boy or a girl. So two variants here. Second child also can be a boy or a girl. Third and fourth. So in order to find all probable combinations, we just have to multiply all these numbers. And we are going to get 2 multiplied by 2 going to be 4, multiplied by 2 going to be 8, and multiplied by 2 going to be 16. So total um, 16 variants possible how this family may have 4 children. And as you see, we also have here 16. So this number has direct relationship with this number. And this 4 has direct relationship with this number. 
So now let's find out what all these numbers stand for. For example, uh, the first question, uh, what is the probability for family have zero boys? And basically, um, this number one stands for the possibility of having zero boys and that means that uh, all the children have to be girls. So zero boys and four girls. So one such uh, variant possible out of total um, 16 combinations. So this is going to be an answer for our first question. One out of 16. And next would be one boy. And that means one boy and three girls. And as you see, uh, probability would be four out of 16. And next uh, we have six here, which reflects possibility for a family to have two boys and two girls. So the third answer would be six out of 16. Of course, we can reduce these numbers. For example, we can um, divide by uh, three. So here we are going to get, oh, sorry, by two. And here we are going to get three eights instead of six uh, over 16. And here we can get two eights or one quarter. But let's finish. And this four would stand for the probability for this family of having three uh, boys and one girl. And the last combination would be probability of having four children boys and zero, as you see, uh, girls in this case. So now you know how to solve uh, such problems because if we would have a question what is the probability for a family, for example, of 10 children having uh, two boys or three girls? It would be much more complicated to solve such problems uh, using just logic method and list all the probable combinations. But with Pascal triangle method, uh, we can solve such problem probably under one minute. And um, basically, uh, what we also can do we can check if uh, this answer is a correct one and if uh, we, uh, with two boys and two girls, have uh, basically six combinations. Let's check it. So, the first variant, how we can get two boys and two girls in a family of four children. Let's say uh, that first combination can be that first two children would be boys and then uh, two girls. Another variant can be that first child would be boy, then a girl and a boy and a girl. Another combination can be a boy and a girl, a girl and a boy. Another combination can be a girl, a boy, a boy, and a girl. Another variant would be a girl, a boy, a girl, and a boy. And the last combination would be a girl, a girl, and boy, and boy. So let's count how many such combinations we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So total number, as you see, six, just like what we have here. Six um, different combinations exist. Uh, how we can get two boys and two girls. And you can apply the same logic, for example, to find that only four combinations exist how family may have one boy and three girls, or 
it's easier to say that uh, only one combination exists uh, that uh, family may have uh, all children being girls and the same is true here that's why uh, numbers on the left side uh, would be the same as on the right side so one four and here we also have one and four and here we also have one three three one so if we would uh, say uh, make a line here in the middle so numbers on the left and on the right uh, would be the same just in a different order so if we would have for one here here we also would have for one and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye